LinkedIn have just released a new feature, and that is the ability for us now to create polls. Now it's going to be a staggered release, which means the vast majority of people don't have access to it. But I'm one of the lucky few who actually does. So let's go to some live screen action now as I give everyone a tour of LinkedIn's new polling feature. So here we are live on my LinkedIn profile, Mark Warnkin. If we aren't yet connected on LinkedIn, by all means, send me a connection request and say hello from where you are around the world. And if you're watching this video on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date and tick the little bell icon as well. So I actually got access to the LinkedIn polling feature only yesterday and I published my first poll yesterday. It's been running for about a day or so. Um, that's the end result of what the poll is. Hello to all my connections. Other than LinkedIn, what other social media platform are you focusing on? Had 68 votes and some comments and likes and shares and all of that information. Now, I also put a little bit of information here up the top, Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or Twitter and three to five hashtags, which is what I normally do as well. So that is the end result of the poll and what it looks like, but how do we actually start creating one of these polls from scratch? So it's pretty easy to start creating a poll. We go to our home page here and we click start a post as we would be posting anything um, on LinkedIn. Down the bottom here, create a poll. I believe it's a staggered release. Um, everyone will get this availability, but it's a staggered release. Not everyone will get it. And once you do have it, obviously create a poll option then becomes available to you. So. Click the box, create a poll, and the boxes pop up and open. My question I'm going to be asking is, will you be using the LinkedIn polling feature? So the options I'm going to give people are yes, no. You get the option to add four answers. Um, maybe, if I can spell right, may, why, maybe. And the last option, what could that be? Let's say never ever there we go have a little bit of fun with it now they give you duration you can have it for one day three days one week or two weeks gee i would think a few days is more than enough but anyway that's something for you to decide on will you be using the new linkedin polling feature yes no maybe never ever click done add some extra text here as well and then add hashtags, hash, so I can spell hashtags as well. Always adding hashtags, um, three to five hashtags works best I find here on LinkedIn. So add some extra text up here as well. Um, add some hashtags. You then get the opportunity, where do you want to share this? Clicking the box there, you can share it to anyone. Anyone plus Twitter, I have linked my Twitter profile to my LinkedIn profile. I actually have a second video or actually have a video on that that explains how to do that and I will put the, well, the link to that in the descriptions below. You can send it to connections only, you could send it to groups but I'm going to send it to anyone on LinkedIn plus my Twitter feed, it's one of the benefits and we are literally ready to go. Um, add some extra text, add hashtags, I'm going to delete this of course. But this is it, and we would press post, and it is going to go live to LinkedIn. There we go. That's how it looks once you have done your post on LinkedIn. Now, of course, I'm going to delete that because I don't necessarily want people to see that one. It was done as a test. But hopefully you're going to see some benefit in the new um, uh, LinkedIn polls feature. Um, go to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know, um, tag me in one of your polls as well. I would love to get some feedback and have a look as well. Um, connections on LinkedIn, by all means, send me that connection request as well. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123, signing off. Have a great day.